Hi, I'm Dan Galpin, Android Developer Advocate, and we're here to talk about the Android 7.1 Preview. A couple of weeks ago, we announced that a developer preview of Android 7.1 Nougat was on the way, and just in case you haven't noticed, it's available now. There's a few differences between this preview and others in the program. Since 7.1 is already launched on Pixel, we're delivering the initial developer preview at beta quality for the Nexus lineup of devices. The goal is to tease out any device-specific issues. This means we've already finalized the new APIs as API level 25, and we've opened up publishing on Google Play for apps targeting the new API level, so you can update your apps as soon as you're ready. So what's new? First of all, Android 7.1 features a few changes specific to the launcher. App shortcuts allow you to add both static and dynamic links to key actions within your app. Users simply long press your app's launcher icon to reveal the app's shortcuts, then tap on a shortcut to jump to the associated action. Each shortcut references an intent, each of which launches a specific action or task, and you can create a shortcut for any action that you can express as an intent. For example, you can create intents for sending a new text message, making a reservation, playing a video, continuing a game, loading a map location, and much more. You can create shortcuts for your app statically by adding them to a resource file in the APK, or you can add them dynamically at runtime. Static shortcuts are ideal for common actions, and dynamic shortcuts let you highlight actions based on users' preferences, behavior, location, and so on. You can offer up to five shortcuts in each of your apps. After your app adds shortcuts, they're available on any launcher that supports them, such as the Pixel Launcher, the default launcher on Pixel devices, the Now Launcher, the default launcher on Nexus devices, and other launchers that provide support. Any app can create shortcuts, and any launcher app can add support for shortcuts. Android 7.1 provides an API for apps to register shortcuts and launchers to read the registered shortcuts. Apps can now define circular launcher icons, which are used on devices that support them, and much of this happens automatically. When a launcher requests an app icon, the framework returns either Android colon icon or Android colon round icon, depending on the device build configuration. You can use Image Asset Studio to design round icons. You can test your circular icons on a Google Pixel device or by running the Android emulator with a Google API's emulator system image targeting API level 25. Something that feels related to the launcher is enhanced live wallpaper metadata. In addition to the existing metadata attributes such as label, description, and author, there are new attributes for a context URL and title to link users to more information about the wallpaper. This allows for a better, richer user experience when choosing live wallpapers. Another 7.1 feature makes stickers and other rich content available through soft keyboards, otherwise known as input method editors or IMEs. The 7.1 SDK includes the Commit Content API, which provides a universal way to send images and other rich content from an IME directly to a text editor in an app. The API is also available in the revision 25 version of the v13 support library. With this API, you can build messaging apps that accept rich content from any keyboard, as well as keyboards that can send rich content to any app. There are two other cool things in 7.1 that you might want to consider taking advantage of. The first of them is the storage manager intent. Apps can now fire the action manage storage intent, taking the user to the system's free up space screen. If your app requires more space than is currently available, it can use this intent to let the user delete unneeded apps and content to free up sufficient space. Another thing you can take advantage of in your app is checking to see if the device is running as the demo user using the new user manager is demo user method. This allows your app to customize the starting experience to a potential customer. When running as a demo user, an app might provide more assistance to the user or explain its features in more detail. There are a bunch of other features in 7.1, such as support for additional Android Wear densities and some important telephony features. Check the Android 7.1 page out on developer.android.com for all the details. If you are already enrolled in the Android beta program, then your eligible enrolled devices will get the Android 7.1 developer preview update right away. No action is needed on your part. If you aren't yet enrolled in Android beta, the easiest way to get started is to visit android.com beta and opt in your eligible Android phone or tablet. You'll soon receive this and later preview updates over the air. If you have an enrolled device and do not want to receive the update, just visit Android Beta and unenroll the device. You can also download and flash this update manually. We welcome your feedback in the Developer Preview Issue Tracker, NPreview Developer Community, or Android Beta Community as we work towards the consumer release in December.